Well, what's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman and today we're just planning on going fishing and I'm actually out here with my girlfriend Suzanne again today so we're just gonna be strapping her up with the GoPro see if she catches anything cool to add to the video but nothing, nothing like competition wise is going on we're just gonna go out and have some fun do some fishing but anyways conditions today as you can see it's kind of cloudy and a little bit windy here behind me a storm's about to blow through so we're limited on time far as how much we actually have to fish. We've probably got like two or three hours before the storm rolls in. So we're gonna try to get out here as fast as possible and start doing some fishing. Hopefully we find some giants today. So let's go ahead and hit the water and start fishing. We are starting out with a white spinner bait today. This is actually a really, really good bait to throw in prefrontal conditions. Usually there's a lot of wind blowing in. As you can see behind me, you can see the ripples and stuff. This little pocket's a little bit more protected, but this will do the trick. I got a little trailer hook on there, so get maximum hookups if we do get a bite. So let's go ahead and get this thing in the water. And Suzanne is throwing a big old whopper plopper. That's her favorite bait as of now. <laughs> That's she's had the most luck on it. So hopefully she has some more luck on it today and catches a nice one. Right now she's in the grass, so <laughs> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work on that cast a little bit. We're actually fishing a pond that I haven't fished in quite some time today. It's usually a pretty productive pond, but I came by here the other day and it was pretty clear and it is looking really, really stained right now. Definitely got a little chocolate milk vibes going on. So hopefully that doesn't affect the fishing too much. We just had a, a good amount of rain recently. Just a lot of runoff and starken a lot of these ponds up around me. So we just got to get moving some top water some stuff that's going to put off a lot of vibration is going to be critical today help these fish locate and find these baits and hopefully just hopefully we're going to get smacked by a giant oh there we go there we go first fish of the day on the spinner bait did not take long at all about five minutes and we got ourselves our first good little bass of the day a solid little two pounder Got this little sucker, he's a feisty little guy. Crushed that white spinner bait just after like one or two reels after it hit the water. Solid little guy, great start, can't complain. I'm hoping we can find some really quality bass in here today. The biggest one I've caught in this pond personally, I think is six and a half, but I've seen some swimming around in here during the right times of the year that have been pretty big that I think probably pushed eight. So maybe we find one of those. Great, great bass. Let's go ahead and get her on back in. Bye, baby. Yeah, you'll probably catch you'll probably catch a few. One thing I do want to say that oh 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 okay I'll tell you all right after I get this fish in that was literally the second cast after that last fish. It might end up being a pretty good day. I think this is a better fish. Oh yes, oh yes, we are on these fish very quick. I told you this white spinnerbait was going to do the trick, guys. Hold up, hold up. This is a quality bass right here. Get on in here. Got her. There we go. That one's probably close to three. There it is, guys. Absolutely demolished that spinner bait. Crushed it. I can't believe how fast we got on these fish today. I knew the bite was gonna probably be pretty good. But the thing I was trying to tell y'all before I hooked up on this fish is compared to like when I normally would fish versus when I film for YouTube, it's really hard to film in the wind and that bank over there is super wind blown. So if I was just out here not filming a YouTube video, I probably would go over there and fish that wind blown bank. That's definitely gonna be a better option. We're gonna fish it on the way back when my back's to it and the wind isn't as bad. But that is a great, great fish. We're actually gonna throw this one on the scale. Just curious to see what she weighs. I'm saying like high twos. I don't think she's quite three. I'm gonna say like two seven, two eight. Wow, not even that. Two two seven. Not as big as I thought she was. I don't even know if that last fish was two pounds. <laughs> that is a that is a great great fish. Let's go ahead and get her on back in. All right. Let's see if we can keep it going. Those two fish came quick. Ah. Watch it. Oh, there we go, right underneath the boat. Right underneath the boat, I paused that for a second because we were about to go up underneath this thing and I was literally just letting it hang right underneath the boat and this fish came up and grabbed it. Oh my goodness. And I think that's even, oh no! Oh no, I think that was the better fish, guys. I think that one was probably close to, I don't know, that one was probably closer to three right there. That was, that was the best one so far. They've been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
Suzanne got her little whopper plopper stuck up with a bunch of braid. If y'all see a bunch of line in the water when you're out fishing, make sure you please grab that and put it in your pocket or your boat or whatever you're doing. Just clean up the environment. If you see it out there, let's go ahead and stick that in there and get back to fishing. I'm not sure why, but I really haven't done a whole lot of spinnerbait fishing on my channel. And that's weird because the spinnerbait is literally one of my favorite baits to fish with. It's a very, very versatile bait. And if you fish it right, it can be a big fish machine. I probably have caught more bass over like six or seven pounds on a spinnerbait than any other bait combined. If I'm being completely honest, it's just super deadly in the right conditions. I, I tend to use a chatterbait a lot on the channel. And the only reason I ever really use that over a spinner bait is because a lot of stuff I've been fishing on the channels had these overhangs and that chatterbait you can skip and I can get up under those overhangs a little bit better than I can with this, or I just have to have it like a super pinpoint cast to get it in where I need it to be like that to get a fish. But Oh goodness gracious. It can catch some fish. Let me tell you, there is a nice little bass. Get up on in here, Jimmy. As soon as I get this guy back in the water, I'm gonna tell y'all a few little spinnerbait tips that hopefully will help y'all catch some bass just like this guy. So when it comes to spinnerbait tactics, there's basically two retrieves that I primarily use. The first one is just like a nice steady retrieve and pause, and they're gonna crush it either when it pauses and starts falling or when you start to speed it back up after the pause. That's usually when you're gonna get hit doing that tactic. And the second one is very similar to that. I'll just reel and then pop, pop and start reeling. And that either they're gonna hit it right when you pop it or just kind of when you're reeling it. One of the two just kind of depends what kind of bite these guys are in. And there's a third one that I actually use and I don't use it as often as those two because I'm more of a power fisherman like to keep the boat moving. But the third tactic is just slow rolling it, reeling it super, super slow on the bottom. And that is a great tactic for when the bass are kind of finicky and not really wanting to bite. And I've had some really awesome bites fishing it like that. And another thing that I do while I slow roll, if I am doing a slow roll, I'll just super, super slow. Oh, that's a stick right there. But I'll just slow, 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 bite on the bottom. And what these fish will do is they'll nose right up on that bait and they're just waiting for it to do something and react to it. So what I'll do is I'll get it out there, start slow rolling it once it kind of gets close to the bottom. And once I'm doing that after a little bit, I'll, I'll do a quick speed up and I get smacked like that all the time. I mean, I cannot tell you how many awesome bites that I've had just from slow rolling it and then that super speed up where those bass just react and go into attack mode and they, they take it because they don't want to lose that opportunity to miss a bite. There's one. There's a bass. That actually feels like a decent one. Oh yeah, 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 that's a decent one, guys. That's a decent one. Good fish, good fish. Oh yeah, I didn't, oh, I hardly hurt. Oh God, I can't even talk. I hardly felt that guy hit this thing. He just grabbed it as soon as it went up under that dock. I think this might be the best one we got in the boat today, if I get him in. Come here, bud. Oh yes, oh yeah, that's a good bass, guys. Hooked him right there in the top of the mouth. This guy did not hit this thing very hard. It was just this subtlest hit. I'm trying to get this, he's hooked good though. Let me tell you, I just really, <laughs> I, mean, I am really surprised I felt that bite. It was so, so subtle. It was just like, it felt kind of off, just kind of spongy almost. It almost just felt like a little bit of extra kind of weird weight. And if you've been fishing for a while, you know what I mean. And that is a great fish right there. Absolutely crushing. You can see her lips are red right here. I don't know how well y'all can see that on the camera, but she's been eating some crawls. Good, good bass. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Off she goes. Oh, there, you got one? Yeah. There you go. On the board, Susie. Woo, it's a baby. Whoa, these little things are squirt, so squirmish though. Whoa! All right, little guy, I'm gonna get you back. Oh, I got another one. There you go. Another one on the board. Start picking them up. That's Whoa! Cool. There you go, you got them. All right, this is a better one. Second one of the day. 
That's a nice one, a little two pounder. Not too bad. That was after after my first one. I think I only casted what, like two, two times? Two, three times. And I so got you him. started picking them up once you switch over from the whopper plopper to the square bill. Yep. All right, we're gonna go ahead and land back at number four. <laughs> And there he goes with the grippers. <laughs> oh my gosh. No! What did you do? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it is time to switch gears. The spinner bay bite has died down. So we're gonna go ahead and switch to something else. Switching gears over to something a little bit slower. Put on a black and blue jig right here just to skip up under some trees and whatnot. When we first came out here, the wind was blowing really, really hard and the bite was pretty dang good. I caught a bunch of fish right out the gate and then it just completely stopped almost, almost no wind at all. And the fish bite just completely stopped. They did not want moving baits. So I figured we'd go ahead and switch gears to something a little bit slower and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to get some bites. We'll splash right here next to this bridge. Oh, oh, he picked it up. He picked it up. There we go, there we go. Got him that time. Got him that time. Oh, he spit it on me. Get enough fish bites to where you can understand what that feels like. Oh, that was a fish. That was a good skip cast. Got him, got him, got him. Oh yes, <laughs> oh, you gotta love a, just a great skip cast. To, oh, he came off. Dang, I haven't stuck these last two fish good at all. Oh, just getting one on a killer skip cast though is so satisfying. Fish has it. There we go. There we go. I didn't feel that fish bite that thing at all. But what I did see is that line started to move towards me and that bait was not on the bottom. I just felt a ton of slack and I knew that fish had it in its mouth. So I went back and cranked down on this little sucker. Good fish. There it is. Absolutely munched that jig right there. He hammered that thing the second it went in the water. I didn't even feel him pick it up, and he is a nice little chunky dude. First one that we got in the boat on the jig, but we've had a few bites, so they're definitely munching that thing. Can't complain about the results. Let's go ahead and get it back in. Off she goes. How do you do a skip cast? Yeah, you, know, you get it like really parallel to the water and just skip like a stone. Oh, we did it! Do, it? do you see all those rings? I do, I see them. I got on the GoPro. <laughs> Alright, I did it once, I'm not gonna try anymore. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Again, didn't feel that fish bite it. Just no, or just nothing. I just felt nothing. I just went up to pick up my jig and there was way too much slack in the line, reeled down on that. And what do you know, that was a fish. Just a silent little pickup. Good fish. These guys are just biting it so, so soft right now. Just hardly anything at all. I mean, both of these last two fish that I caught just literally just felt nothing. I just felt a ton of slack in the line, way more than there should be. But both of those fish had it. This is a really healthy, chunky one right here. I actually wanna put her on the scale. She is a little thick girl. Two, four, three. Solid little fatty. Definitely a future giant. She's a fat girl. Off she goes. There's one. There's a fish coming right at me. I can't tell how big it is. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That fish came right at me. I could not tell how big it was at all. That's the best one all day. I think that we're going to get in the boat right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come here, baby. Come here. That might be a four pounder. That might be a four pounder. Come up here. Hold on. I dropped her. Oh, no. Put her fingers. She's still on. I think I hit her good. Oh yeah. 
take a look at that fish guys that is a big old chunk right there i don't think she's quite four she's just fat and stocky though great fish oh i got her pinned so good smoked that jig holy smokes guys oh i can't even get this thing out of there let's go ahead and pop that sucker out and that is a nice chunky bass that one's definitely pushing three I don't think she's quite four. We're gonna throw her on the scale. She definitely hasn't spawned yet, which is a good thing. I haven't really noticed many spawned out fish in this pond. So if we do run across a big one, like a really big one, and she still has her eggs, we might catch a giant. But that is a good fish. Let's see what she weighs. 342. 342. That is a really, really healthy fish, guys. Just look how meaty this girl is. That is exactly how you want your fish to look when you catch them. This fish is going to be a giant in the future, I know that. You can just tell by how thick she is, how meaty she is. This is just a really, really healthy fish, y'all. Let's go ahead and let her swim on so she can grow big to be a giant one day. Maybe we'll come back and catch her again. <laughs> there's one, there's one, another one in that same spot. This one also feels like a pretty good fish. Oh, yeah! Look at that back-to-back -back cast. Some nice toads. Let's go! Holy smokes, guys. They're up on this bank. Oh, yes. I think this one's even bigger than the last one. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to get us off this. So, just in case there's more. Holy smokes, guys. Uh, Suzanne, hand me that net. Here we go, guys. Oh, that's a tank. That's a tank, guys. That's a tank. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. Uh, hopefully that one's four. This one's gotta be four. She's not as fat as that last fish, but she's longer. Oh, she was barely pinned. I thought she was hooked better than that. Let's go ahead and get her on the scale. I'm, uh, come on, she's gotta be four. She's gotta be four. These are back-to-back -back casts. That is she's a good wild. one. Yes, she is. Oh, 381. Not uh, quite there. Not quite there. She's got a big old head, long body, but just not quite as filled out as that last fish. But definitely a very, very healthy bass. I cannot complain about that. Back to back cast. Whew, that's a chunk. Let's go ahead and get her back in. I want to get back up on that bank. These fish are crushing it right there. This is the only bank of this whole pond we haven't fished. It's like there's an island right here in the middle. We didn't fish this side coming back across. We fished the side behind us. So this side is looking like it's loaded up with some big old bass. Time to let this big beautiful girl go. Oh yeah, she's ready. She's about to tighten up. Let's see. Off she goes. You think that was one? I don't know. <laughs> oh dang i just snapped off that was a fray like the middle of my line what in the world look where that snapped that is such a bizarre place to snap like that that felt like a good one too guys oh that sucks There's one right up under that dock. There we go. <laughs> that was a great little skip right up under that dock. And that fish crushed it as soon as it hit the bottom. I felt them go dunk. Came up and smoked it. Get on in here, bud. Thanks for biting, little dude. Off he goes. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. And as always, best of his passion. Peace out.